The first thing to notice about this problem is the data is categorical. And for categorical data, we usually use pie charts or bar graphs, but let's start by making a table. From the stem of the problem, we have the frequencies of each of the species, but it's often more useful to display the relative frequencies, which is just the percents. To find the relative frequency for the green sea turtle, we divide 9,641 by the total number of turtles, 13,854. That gives us an approximate relative frequency of 0.6959. Now I'm going to show you a trick to calculate all the relative frequencies pretty quickly. Start by pressing the STAT button, then press ENTER. These are called LIST, and in LIST 1 we're going to type all the frequencies. 9,641 for green sea turtles, 1,081 for loggerhead, 813 for hawksbill, 201 for other species, and 2,118 for all the unidentified species. Now here's where the trick comes in. If you press over, you get to list 2. Then press up. This line down here allows us to type a function for list 2. So what we're going to do is say, take list 1, so I'm going to press second, and then the number 1, and divide all the numbers in list 1 by 13,854. Now when I press enter, here's all the relative frequencies. Now on that short list, it didn't save a huge amount of time, but you can imagine it would if we had a long list of species, or some other data set. So let's make a pie chart. Try to locate the center of your circle. So one trick to making a pie chart is try to group values into sums that are close to 50% or 75% or 25%. Like for example, these three values add up to really close to 25%. So I know together those three are going to take up about a quarter of my pie chart. So I have to squeeze loggerhead, other, and unknown into this section. So 15.3% of my section needs to be for unknown. That's probably about here. So let's connect those. Now we have an almost 8% and a 1.5%. All right, so this section right here represents unknown. This section here is for loggerhead. And right here is for other. Hawksbill is about 6% and Loggerhead is about 8%, so Hawksbill needs to be smaller than Loggerhead. Maybe about that much. So this is Hawksbill. Alright, the remaining section is for green, and it does look to be about 70%. So that's one way to display the data. Another way to display the data is with a bar chart. Since our highest relative frequency is close to 70%, let's make sure our y-axis goes all the way to 70%. So our vertical axis is going to be the relative frequency, and our horizontal axis will be for the different species. So green turtles were almost 70%, so that's way up here. Now I need to leave space in between my bars since we're representing a categorical variable. So there's two ways to display this data, and of course, adding color helps. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.